up all as well. So remember I did the story, I'm thinking Monday, maybe, about the lady whose boyfriend shot and killed her after meeting her at the Cheesecake Factory and she was pregnant. And I said, I said, oh my goodness. I said, I'll bet you, being how it is to date in Blackistan, I said, I'll bet you she probably paid for her own meal. I'll bet you she did. And then, then the Dusty followed her and killed her, where he has been arrested. Ladies, and I'm talking, you know, everybody's everybody's welcome here. Black women, do you love yourself? Do you? Some of y'all have a dedication. I, I cannot comprehend it. Those mammy biscuits you're sopping up is, is a danger to your health. You got you've got a dedication to uh just I guess you just, just be a black man and and you sign off on it. You are literally sleeping with the enemy. I mean, gosh, you are sleeping with the enemy, and it's the same thing over and over and over again. These dusties are bringing you death on a platter. Beautiful girl. How you, she got mixed up with him. I don't, I can't wrap my head around it. Check out, they've arrested the boyfriend. She was 14 weeks pregnant. So, I want you to listen to what they say about the date. Now, also listen. Maybe you like to go slumming. You're taking your life in your hand. You're carrying the seed of poverty D. And I know it equals poverty as well for you. But now you're carrying his seed. That's the consequence of that is very deadly. So listen to what the news says about the date. Then listen to what they said he did. Okay. Check it out. Fair use. This is what a deadly Dusty will do. In Montgomery County released chilling new details about the murder of a pregnant woman. The suspect charged in her killing was arraigned today. Action News reporter Katie Catro joins us live from the Exxon station in King of Prussia where the murder took place. And Walter text messages between the two released by investigators show Tamara Cornelius identified Rafiq Thompson as the father of her unborn child. Investigators also say Rafiq Thompson called and texted her repeatedly in the upcoming days leading to her murder, including sending about 100 text messages one day that Cornelius never responded to. This is a cold uh, killing of a young woman. Police say surveillance video shows the chilling moment. 38-year-old Rafiq Thompson of Philadelphia pulls the trigger on 31-year-old Tamara Cornelius. The shooting happened while she was pumping gas Friday night at the Exxon gas station on North Gulf Road in King of Prussia. Officials say she was 14 weeks pregnant. Today, investigators have charged Thompson with first-degree murder for the unborn child, saying he was aware of Cornelius' pregnancy. Clearly evil in his heart. Um, with this. Authorities say Thompson and Cornelius were in a previous relationship. Authorities say the two met the night of her murder at the Cheesecake Factory for dinner. Investigators say Thompson left before the food even arrived, leaving Cornelius to pay the bill and drive away in her car. He follows her, <laughs> lights off, goes to the gas station, pulls out a gun, and kills her. Investigators Wow. Leaders found the gun Thompson used at Executive Terrace on the 400 mm, mm, mm. block of South Gulf Road. Authorities say about an hour and a half after the murder, Thompson ordered food at the drive through at the McDonald's on the 500 block of Baltimore Pike in Clifton Heights. Now, Thompson was on state parole at the time of the murder for a felony conviction. District Attorney Kevin Steele says he should have never possessed a firearm to begin with. And they wow. are to how he even got a weapon in his hands in the first place. So he is already up on federal on parole. 
and you choose this to be your baby daddy? A parolee? Look at this. Ladies, digging from the bottom of the barrel has never worked for anyone. Picking up scrubs. Picking up trash. And here she is at the gas station, 14 weeks pregnant, and there he is. It's on camera. It's on camera. And there's still some woman sitting up here. Well, you know, he, he just went too far. My baby daddy, he paroled it. He felonious. And sometimes, you know, we might get into it, but he ain't going to go that far. That's what every fool probably thinks. And I'm saying fool because deep inside, you know, maybe you're just scared. It's foolish to let them into your lives. Look at this. Oh, you know, you got to sympathize with these dust bucket black men. Life is so hard. Uh, looks like to me, dealing with these fools makes life hell of a lot harder. They make it hella harder. Look at this. Her baby daddy. Her baby daddy. And I'm going to keep showing it. Maybe somebody can wake the hell up. I, I can't wrap my head around it. This is what your baby daddy do for you. Oh, you like a thug. You like that. You like you a, th uh, a, 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 a street ninja. I've heard people say that. She wants a street ninja. That's what it'll get you. Dipped out. She got to pay the bill. That's probably why he went to McDonald's. She probably been paying for the dates. I wouldn't be surprised. So he definitely didn't have that cheesecake money. So when he went to get his meal, he had to go probably order him a Happy Meal from McDonald's with his broke ass. This is what they think of you. They After two things, Miss Pearlene and your purse. Other than that, you have no use. Uh, you, they don't need you. And she ended up pregnant. Carrying the seed of poverty D, once again, oh, it's hella deadly. Hella deadly. I hate to say it, and rest in peace, young woman. I hate to say it. If somebody would have told her, that's why I want, people need to see, this is what they think of you. If somebody would have told her last week, girl. If somebody would have told her when she first dated him, met him, let me go ahead. Let's look into this crystal ball if it was real. Fast forward. That's what they're going to do. Oh, he ain't going to do that, girl. You always would. You just want somebody to be by yourself. You have to be mighty lonely and mighty desperate to pick these up. It's a lot of women that they, they want to try to put the ones that are single or divorced. Don't get it twisted. A lot of women are single. They have men that approach them, but they're not going to deal just with anything. And you wonder why some of them are single, still breathing and alive. You dealing with Dusty and you dead. You have to like yourself. Single and happy, carefree. You have to like and love yourself. I'd rather be single, happy, Dusty, and, and fine financially than sitting up struggling with a Dusty. Look on the screen. We got to speak life into them as they take yours. I got gotcha. you. Who doesn't get it? Ladies, I have to ask you. You already know. You know what a Dusty will do. She could have done so much better. You know what a Dusty will do. They will end you.
Who's not getting the message? Who didn't get the memo? We haven't heard about her having a criminal history. She's gone. The baby's gone. But guess what? We got the dusty alleged murderer Tyrone. Do you not see what's going on in the black community? Other story, young black man, 23 years old, working. They haven't said him to have a criminal history. He's gone. The two dust buckets and dust in the associated with them, they're still here. Look at her. We haven't heard of a criminal history. She and the baby are gone. But that dust bucket with a criminal history, he's here. And you wonder why I say a black a lot of these fools just a black man works for the clan. Kill out the decent people. And we just stuck with dust. And you were talking about oh, reparations. I hate to say it. Of course reparations are all oh, hell. People say, oh, it's not. Well, let's flip the script on your behind. Let's see your monkey behind work for 400 years free. Okay? Let, let's let's flip the script. Let, let's try that. And then Jim Crow and all of that. And I hate to say it. Here's the sad part. Man, if they were to give any, which I doubt, give any kind of decent reparations, you know what the sad part is? Oh, it would be so much murder and mayhem. It would be so much murder and mayhem in the black community. You, you, you think it won't? You are delusional. Woo, woo, black kids be coming up kidnapped. And don't let them say Oh, if you owe child support, we're going to give your reparations check to your baby mama. Lord have mercy. It's sad to say with the state of mind of the community of so many, black, there would be more black women dead, so many orphans left. It would be so much murder and mayhem. It really would. Be. So, they, you think they're busting in doors now? I know you got that check, witch. Hell, everybody, mom got one. Some of the fools was talking about, oh, that stimulus check for fourteen hundred dollars. That really helped me out, bro. That carried me over. Well, you must not have far to go if that carried you over. Now they're staying with their mothers and the mammies. So that's a little money for him to put in his pocket while he ride around somebody else's car. What I'm saying, man, what's what I'm talking about? I need me another stimmy. You don't need a stimulus check. Hey, you're already costing us $50 billion annually with your bootleg butt. So I want to stop the video here because I'm kind of, you know, I want to try and keep it <laughs> calm. But seriously, seriously, that's the sad thing about it. Man, you give this group reparations, death will follow. Then the Japanese, they, that, that didn't happen. Death with them. Um... The Jewish community, you didn't hear about that. Give you didn't hear that. Oh, well, they got some reparations. And just, no, 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 no. Give reparations to the black community. Crime will skyrocket. And like I said, don't put a clause in. Oh, you owe back child support. You cost the community fifty billion dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and give your check to the children's mother. A mini black woman, you if you get your you might want to get your passport, the kids and leave the country. You won't make it. And the mammies will be hiding them out. Wow. So yep, they have caught him. The seed of poverty D is killing thee. Take a chance if you want to, ladies. Do you? I can't tell you what to do. I'm just letting you know this is going on. And it's not just two or three. Every 5.5 hours. Every 5.5 hours. And I hate to tell you. Hate to tell you. The ones that's showing up that's killing thee. Cute girl. How she get mixed up with this trash? I hate to I don't understand. So the ones that's showing up and killing thee. Looks like this fool that's on the screen. Another black man that obviously works for the Klan. And I'm out.